रामाये रामभद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीता यह पते नम युद्ध कांड चैप्टर नंबर नाइन्टी एट द डेथ ऑफ महोदय द रेसिटेशन बिगिन न The two armies thinned gradually, like two large lakes drying up by the summer heat. When the ruler of the Rakshasas saw his forces annihilated and Virupaksha done to death, his wrath mounted high. As the monkeys bit and tore his forces, he was filled with grief, and he thought, "Was it fated that I should behold even this?" Then, turning to Mahodhara standing by, he said, "Best of heroes." It is on you I now depend to defeat the foe destroy the vulnerable forces and demonstrate your prowess as well as your loyalty and gratitude to your master who has trusted you and done you so many favors fight with care and your utmost skill to hear is to obey replied mahodar and he was lost in the monkey hordes even as a moth falls into a flame In deference to the words of Ravana and fired by his inherent valor he slew the monkeys in thousands but they gave a good account of themselves bringing down the rakshasas with huge rocks uprooted Mahoda blazed with wrath and cut off the heads and feet of the monkeys with his bright arrows decked with gold some fled to the corners of the field some took refuge with sugriva the lord of the monkeys seeing his forces routed by mahodar rushed forward with a huge boulder and brought it down upon his foe but the rakshasa without blenching cut it down with his arrows it fell down in a cloud of splinters like unto a band of vultures scattered by terror sugriva felt small Anger overmastered him. He tore up a lofty oak and flung it against the rakshasa, who broke it to pieces with his arrows. Sukriva snatched an iron bolt that lay there, whirled it above his head, and brought it down with tremendous force on the horses of Mahodar. The warrior leaped down lightly and grasped his club. They roared and with a club and bolt clashed against each other like two bulls or like dark rain clouds charged with lightning. Then Mahoda hit Sugriva with his club, blazing like the sun. Sugriva stopped it with his bolt. Both the weapons were broken to bits. Then Sugriva snatched an iron bar that lay near, whirled it aloft, and aimed it at Mahoda. He met it with another club, and the two weapons crashed into a huge shower of broken bits. The two heroes fought long and fiercely with their bare fists, like two fires fed with oblations of butter. Weapons they had none. Matchless in strength and lustre, they punched and they slapped and they shouted. They fell down. They leaped aloft. They struck at each other. They threw each other down. Thus did the two heroes fight on until their arms were wearied. Then Mahoda sprang at Sugriva, arming him so quickly with sword and shield. The monkey followed his example and met him square and fair. Their bodies quivered with hate as they roared mightily and chased each other around. Their energy grew apace as they displayed everything that they knew about the science and art of warfare. They ran about and turned right and left, each intent on victory. Then Mahodar clove the shield of Sugriva most skillfully, and while he was drawing out his sword, Sugriva saw his chance and cut off the gaily ornamented head of Mahodar. At this sight, his armies took to their heels in confusion. Sugriva and his monkeys proclaimed their victory. Ravana blazed in wrath, and Raghava rejoiced. The Rakshasas hid themselves here and there with worn faces and broken hearts, like unto Surya in the full radiance of the noon. Did Surya's son Sugriva bring down Mahodara of mountainous bulk, thus earning for himself boundless fame? And he, on his part, radiant with victory, was praised by the host of gods and yakshas, by the siddhas and created beings on earth. Mangalam koshale indraya mahaniya gunapdiye chakravarti dhanurjaya sarvabhomaya mangalam.